Hey y'all, I've recorded a little backing track here using two chords, an A minor seventh to a D ninth chord. Sounds like a little Latin rock kind of thing, but I can play some blues licks over this using my pentatonic scale. So that sounds fine, but let's say I want to do something a little more melodic. So what I've done there is I've modified my pentatonic scale into a diatonic scale. So it's gone from having five notes to having seven notes. What I'm using is Dorian mode. So this is one of the modes. Uh, I'm going to show you how to change your pentatonic scale into a Dorian mode scale. So we're in the key of A. So just to refresh your memory, the pentatonic scale has two notes on every string. Starting on the 5th fret on the lowest string, it's a 3 fret gap. Then on the A string, it's a 2 fret gap. D string, it's a 2 fret gap. G string, 2 frets. B string, 3 frets. And E string is 3 frets. So it kind of looks like that. Now, to create that diatonic scale, we're going to have 3 notes on every string, except for the A string. So, going from the thicker string, we now have a sequence like that. So we still have that three fret gap, so we're just adding one right there. The A string is exactly the same, still has two notes. And then on our D string, we kind of go back to the fourth fret here. That now looks like that. And on the third string, it mirrors it, same thing. So from the fourth fret, fifth to the seventh. So those two mirror each other. And then we go to the B string, we're back to the 5th fret, and now we go 5th, 7th, 8th. And on the top E, it mirrors the B string, so they mirror each other as well. Uh, also, good thing to remember is that anytime you get to that top E, it's always going to be the same as the bottom E when you're learning a scale, because they're the same string, essentially, just a higher register. So, just to refresh, that's how you create a Dorian mode. So we can swap between the pentatonic scale and the Dorian scale to create some pretty groovy blues rock.